Yeah, they also have this here. <laughs> School time. So today's vlog is filming with the G7X or trying to film everything with my G7X because I want to see if I can use this as my, you know, my main camera since my other main camera is broken, <laughs> the G81. So I have to rely on this baby right now. So you guys can see now how the quality and daily user usage of the G7X Mark 1, forgot to mention that, is audio quality, image quality, and doing some time lapses and whatsoever what our vloggers should do. So let's begin. Good. It's really weird. It's focusing the background but on my face. Anyway, we can do quickly a wind test right now since it's very windy. And if you can hear me still clearly while the wind is blowing through my microphone and through my face, between my face, I have to say, then yeah, the G7X can be still used to talk in a windy situation like this right now. By the way, when the train station. <laughs> Waiting for the train. Okay, these are the next test right now. Testing if the wind filter is working and if you can still hear me. So I'm going like 5 10 kilometers right now. And if you can still hear me right now, that means the microphone is suitable for riding a bike or skateboards. Is it perfect? Yeah, nice. Okay, before we go to school, I'm gonna tell you guys what I've been up to or what we're learning. Right now we're learning Substance Designer. It's a 3D software, or yeah, 3D software where you create materials in a procedural way. You can imagine procedural materials is like vectors in Adobe Illustrator where everything is mathematical created and you have no loss if you scale it from small to big. Oh shit. Nice, nice. Nice. That's what we do. Smash in our free time. Okay, now it's school time. <laughs> Three hours later. Okay, the lesson was freaking shit. So, you can imagine the lesson was so bad. It's like if our teacher was like a freaking rapper like Eminem doing the rap god. With supersonic speed. You cannot freaking understand him since he's just talking and talking and talking and talking and without any pause that you will not know when you look down your computer doing the stuff what he's doing, he'll be like 10, 20 places forward. Oh my god. like about the Canon right now that it can zoom in and out which my phone Note 8 cannot do. It can go from 24 up to 80 millimeter zoom which is really awesome if you want to get some close-up details and different shots for your vlog. This does it really well. The other thing I notice is the stability of the G7X is really nice. I mean, for example, if I move now, you can see it stabilizes really well. I can also walk around. 
for example and it stabilized it really well so let's try to run okay running now stabilization Whew. walking right now and if I'm looking at the screen it looks really smooth I can run again I'm gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> Let's go. I'm holding it really, really light, so it doesn't shake that a lot. Oh, I'm trying to hold it as best as I can. Oh, you can judge now. Is stability isn't good or not? You can be the judge now. The turning on, turning off the camera is really snappy takes only like one two seconds which is really nice if you want to shoot something that just happened in front of you and you don't want to miss it the other thing what i really really like about this camera is that it has like this nice bokeh effect in the background it's not so strong if you have like a big dslr camera but it's really enough to see the difference and because of the low light of the camera with a 1.8 stop <laughs> you can so what just happened right now was my memory card was full and it stopped recording meaning that 16 gigabyte of storage is not enough for daily vlogging <laughs> i can tell you right now so for you guys who wants to vlog daily with a g7x or with any camera buy at least 32 or better yet 64 gigabyte. Before it cut off, I actually wanted to talk about low light and that's what we are doing right now. I am comparing the Note 8 to the G7X and see which one has the better low light. Phone versus camera. And before I continue, we're going to be going outside quickly with the light there that we have and both of them are also set in automatic so it'll be equal and fair this is also 1080p, this is also 1080p in 30fps so let's go so let's go to the light here light so there's a light here on the right side and we're going to use that to lighten my face here and see now the quality, how, many, how much noise it has and which one is more, much more suitable if you want to go out and take some pictures and videos with your friends and just by looking at the G7X screen it looks very clear and bright which I find very surprising because <laughs> I never had such a low light quality on a camera. I don't know how it looks like on the Note 8. Maybe it looks really bad or not good. But that's the reason why I bought the G7 X since it has a flip screen. I can composite my shot much better. Whereas the Note 8, I don't know, I just have to guess. So you can guys decide right now which one is superior. Note 8 G7X. So we tested the low light, the video, audio stabilization of the Canon Mark G7X. And now we can ask the question, is it still good in 2018, even though it was released four years ago to the public mass? And I can say, in my opinion, yes, it's still a good camera. Yes, the audio quality sucks. But you get a compact camera, you get a really good low light efficiency with this camera. And plus, you can put it in your pocket without any sweat. I mean, it will fit literally in any pocket. I don't know if you wear tight pants or tight jeans, then yeah, <laughs> it will not fit. But 99% it will fit. So it's technically like a go and shoot vlog camera. So for B-roll and A-roll, it's suitable, but more for B-roll. For A-roll, I would prefer to have a mic input, but that's my opinion. 
So yeah, that's my take. 